All right, it's time to round out the decade in style with another episode of Poke Openings. And this time it's episode six, seven, five, I can't remember. But in front of us today, we have something that's quite fitting for the end of the decade. Uh, the start of a new era, as it were, because uh, in front of us today, we have two packs of Cosmic Eclipse and the groupie. The Groupie Box? The Grookie Box, uh, which is obviously from the new Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Uh, we don't have the Sword and Shield sets out yet. I think that's, well, next year. I think they're out in Japan, or they're almost out in Japan or ever. But anyway, today I thought we'd uh, we'd crack open these six packs and have a look at those cards and call it a day, and then we'll all go all new way. So, uh, in, as I mentioned, there's two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. I'll keep those to the side uh, for a second. And we'll first take a look at this delightful box. So, as you can see, the main draw of this, actually, is the three starter cards, um, or other promo cards of the starters. We have a Grookey pin, an oversized uh, Zakian V card. I think you could get Zamanzetta as well. And four packs. I don't know what series the packs are from. I'm gonna guess they're probably slightly old, and if you'd like to read the blurb there, give it a pause. And yeah, so uh, below you get three foil promos, one of two oversized foil things, um, and yeah, a pin. So I th I assume there's a box for Scorbunny and Sobble as well. Um, also, I, I will level with everyone here. I actually kind of forgot these were coming out and uh, got lazy and just forgot, basically. But, as it happens, I was actually bought this for Secret Santa um, from a friend. I shall link to his Twitch channel below because he's pretty darn good at that Twitch streaming stuff. Uh, his name is Willjar. You may have even watched his stuff before. I don't know. Uh, so, in front of us, we have these lovely... Ooh! Okay, they're actually they're actually kept in with like an extra bit of plastic. That's cool. I'll crack those open in a second then. First, let's take a look at the biggest thing in this box, and that is Zakian V. Zakian? Zachian? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um He is my favourite legendary of the two. To be honest, Amonzet is cool, but he is just a little bit cooler. And his attack is Brave Blade. Also, a, um, yeah, a quick look at this. Uh, so, V attacks, they're basically like um, regular, I think, and they're kind of like EX cards. So, V is just the, the uh, person that knocks his house gets two cards. Also, I don't know what set that is from, but I didn't know Zakin's already in a set that we've had over here, unless that is Sword and Shield and we just haven't had anything, but I presume that's like Cosmic Eclipse or something. Anyway, either way, that is a damn good looking card, and I shall add to my uh, oversized card collection, which one day I need to get a binder for. Anyway, next up, as mentioned, is these guys. So yeah, um, they've actually got a kind of smart way of doing it now, I think. Uh, hang on. Sorry about that, I just realised the code card's in there. Um, unfortunately, by the time this video goes up, I will have used the code, so I'm not going to edit it out or anything. Um, you guys can try using it, but I will have already used it. And in front of us, we have uh, Hollow uh, Score Bunny, who is the starter I picked in Sword. Um, let's see, what number is he then? So this card is also from that very same set, uh, I believe, uh, Zakian. Um, and yeah, I, the D is presumably meant to like symbolise it's a special one or something. Um, but yeah, that's from this set. Also, I've noticed they've started putting the um, legal things at the bottom on the yellow there, which is a bit weird. It doesn't quite look right because I'm used to that being you know, plain and the sort of the legal text being underneath there. But yeah. That's a really darn cool looking card for Scorbunny, who is my favourite of the three starters, although uh, Grookey is a very close second, and Sobble I quite like as well. Honestly, all three of the starters I'm quite a big fan of. They've kind of grown on me. Originally, uh, Scorbunny was the only one I liked, but I don't know, after a while I kind of like really liked Grookey. And yeah, Sobble, Sobble is cool as well, but yeah. There is the cute monkey without his stick, which is weird. Um, oh, wait, no, his stick is there. I, I'm an idiot. Okay, I didn't realise that. Yeah, uh, Branch Pork. Wow, that is the unfortunate name for a move. I shall put these three cards to the side, and then I'll grab the other four packs. 
All right, so um, actually, you know, I, I was incorrect. I mentioned, I doubt there'd be Cosmic Eclipse in here. There's actually two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. That is pretty darn cool. So I'm going to check those to the side. And we also have Unbroken Bonds, which is a... Um, oh, <laughs> I just, I completely forgot about the pin. I'm sorry, hang on. There is our cute monkey boy in all of his glory. Um, I have realised now, I think this means I'm going to have to track down the other two boxes, because... I can't just have this pin. I, I gotta get me a score bunny pin, and if I'm getting a score bunny pin, I might as well get a sobble as well. So, look out in the future. I probably will buy the other two boxes. Uh, also, my battery is running really low, so I'm gonna cut for a second and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I have charged my camera, and yeah, as mentioned, there is also an unbroken bonds pack, which is a set I've not opened many cards from, so I'm quite excited. And Evolutions, which I'm presuming they're just trying to get rid of, because uh, this is an old set now, and I think I've got most of the cards from it, apart from like some EXs and Mega EXs. Also, just thought I'd point out, there's a uh, V kind of thing here, uh, which is appropriate, I suppose, because they're V cards now. Um, so yeah, also the background's orange here. I don't know why exactly... Ah, uh, he is kind of orange, isn't he? Green and orange. I'm an idiot. Okay, right. Uh, I shall go and sort everything nicely, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I've arranged everything in a, in a kind of nice way, I think. It, it shows off the uh, things in the box. Also, I've put the other two packs uh, I bought to the side. Because I thought, well, hey, you know, why, why not? Uh, right, so let's crack open this pack of evolutions first, because I'm not that excited for it. Um, just because, I don't know, Evolutions is kind of one of those sets. Uh, is it three to the front? I think. I can't remember. Uh, let's say it is. One, two, three. Let's go, because this is just before Sun and Moon, isn't it? Okay, so we have a full heel. Ooh, very nice. A polywag. Also, sorry about the lighting. My camera is kind of casting a shadow over most things, isn't it? Uh, we have a Pokedex, a Sandshrew that we saw, uh, Onyx, very nice. Obviously all of these are reprints from really old sets and stuff. It's nice to see the artwork, but I think I've seen them enough now that the novelty is kind of worn off. Uh, we have, ooh, a Fighting Energy, the most exciting card of the pack. Our reverse, nope, is not a Star You. okay, fair enough. Our reverse is a Charmeleon, very nice, always. I was happy to get something like that. And our rare is Eradicate. Yay! What a, what a crazy pack of evolutions that was. Wasn't that worth seeing through? Right, anyway, um, let's go to Unbroken Bonds and then we'll do we'll finish off with the um, Cosmic Eclipse stuff. So, uh, this is the Reshizard pack. Can we pull Reshizard from from these packs. I doubt it, uh, honestly, because it's quite a rare card, I think. Uh, especially the Rainbow Rare. Oh, was there a Rainbow Rare? It was some kind of special rare, wasn't there? Um, right, so, code card to the side there. Uh, one, two, three, four. To the front, water energy. Let's see. No, it's not. Okay, then. Well, anyway, we... Oh, wow. That's a really cool-looking war total there. Damn. Yeah, that's really nice. Solid Shell. He does indeed have a Solid Shell. I'm also quite a big fan of War Total in general. We have Porygon 2. Wow, that's a very cute Porygon 2. That's an incredibly cute one. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, we have a Ultra Forest Cartenovoy. Cart yeah, Cartenovoy. Okay, um, I will level with everyone. I still haven't finished Ultra Sun. Uh, I, I keep meaning to go back, but Sword and Shield are out now. I've had my Pokemon fix for a while. There's only so much Pokemon I can get through. Uh, we have a Gastly. Sorry, we have a Growlithe there. A Gastly. Oh, we have a Togepi just chilling uh, in a baby seat. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's through a backpack. It's Misty's backpack. It's clearly a reference to the anime. Uh, we have a Pikachu, looking very cute. I don't think I've seen that Pikachu. As I said, I haven't opened many Unbroken Bonds packs. Uh, our reverse, although it's very hard to see, is a Murkrow. Looking very cute there. Uh, yeah, this is reverse, is it? 
Yeah, I think so. And our... No, this is our reverse. Okay, then. Is Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Oh, yeah. I'm glad the gym leader's back. So, actually, maybe Misty is in this set with the Togepi in the backpack. Because, eh, I mean, you know, maybe it is canon now with the cards. I don't know. And our rare is a Quagsire. Oh, yeah. Just chilling the SS Ant, maybe. I can't quite read that uh, in the viewfinder. But, yeah. Very nice. That's uh, that's cute. Uh, controversially speaking, much more of a fan of Whooper. Quagsire is cute, but eh. Anyway, I'm going to try and adjust this camera angle slightly so that you don't get the constant shadowy thing. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I think I've just moved the camera a little bit, so I think this might do it. Uh, but anyway, let's begin with a pack of Cosmic Eclipse. This one is the, um, there's the trio card, isn't there? There's like Cleffa, Togepi and Igglybuff. Um, are they, I, I think, is it just them? I don't think they're like mega, well, no, they're not mega, obviously. They're not like uh, V cards. Wait, no, what's the old one? Uh, I don't you know, it's been so long since I've opened Pokemon cards, I genuinely can't remember uh, the name of them now, but I'll put it at the bottom. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna guess Fire Energy. No, okay then. Uh, let's, uh, ooh, Pyro. Very nice. We have a Hakomo. Very nice. Also, uh, still not really fix the lighting issue. I do apologize. There is a Rotom. Very nice. It's nice to see plain Rotom because you see a lot of like his various forms and cards and stuff. We have a Cosmog. Nice to see he's back and not forgotten about because he is a precious bag thing. We've got a Ponyta. Regular, boring, non fairy Ponyta. Hey, Crab Roller. Oh, a Carvana. Uh, is he dark? I feel like, isn't just Charpedo dark and Carvana's just plain water? I can't remember. Our reverse is not this. I, I'm really not counting the cards today very well. We've got a Chin Chow. Our reverse is a Teddy Ursa. <laughs> oh, oh that, is, that is fucking adorable. Jesus Christ, that is... That is pure preciousness. And our rare is ooh a lowland muck yeah boy i really like a lowland muck uh his design is just so much cooler than regular muck not that regular muck is that bad but i don't know i i, I kind of like the sludgy psychedelic colors but yeah right well first pack down we didn't get anything crazy but hey maybe that is just you know, to get us ready for the next pack, which features Dialga and Palkia. Uh, there's two of those, actually. Uh, one that came in the box, and one I bought separately at a local card uh, card game store, kind of. L L yeah, no, LGS, local game store. Uh, so, we've got an Eevee, very nice, and... Four to the front, uh, Psychic Energy this time. No, Electric again. Okay then. Let's begin with, very out of focus, Curlia. We have a Roller Skater. A Clefairy. An Eevee that we just saw, very cute. Um, I wonder if all the evolutions are in this set then. We have a Flabebe, the... the fairy card that they keep throwing in I guess they just don't have enough fairies that's why Flababy is a staple for most sets but I've never met anyone that really likes Flababy we have a Sneasel, a water Sneasel, very interesting um, we have a Natu looking majestic off into the distance we've got a Trap Inch oh, he's not looking good although, wait, no that's fine. Yeah, his eyes aren't normally like that. I don't know why. He just looks like he's on the verge of fainting. And I don't know why. Our reverse is a Celio. Ah, look how happy he is to see us. And our rare is a Drampa. Very nice. Non-hollow also, but hey. Pretty darn cool. Um, I, I know I don't have most of these. I think I've opened like three Cosmic Eclipse packs or something. Uh, right, I'm going to try and get a different angle for card openings, so I'll be right back. 
All right, so this should be a lot better. There's no shadows or anything. I am just holding it up to the camera. So it's time for another Dialgan Palkia pack. Will this one prove a little bit better? Not that the other ones were bad, but you know, hey, a hollow or something. A GX, that's the one I forgot about earlier. Not EX, GX. This is gonna be steel. No, it's, it's not. It's weak to steel. Uh, wait, no, steel is weak against it. Ooh, we have a Bellabar and Bryson Man. Very nice. Uh, tag team. That's interesting. So it's like, hang on. Okay, so because it's a tag team, you can only play one supporter card, uh, which is fair enough. Ooh, uh, we have a draw energy. Very, very cool, actually. Uh, very nice. Uh, ooh, way there we are. We have Cosmium. Co Cosmoium? Cos I, I can never remember. Oh, we got Cottony. See, that's a really good uh, fairy Pokemon. Just just go with Cottony. You know, we don't need Flabebes all of the time, because they kind of all... Eh, I don't know. Uh, we have a Rowlet. Very happy. Best boy from last gen. We've got a Phantom... Ooh, I'm really digging the art style of that Phantom, Phantom, actually. Very nice. And we got one in the background. Those type of cards are always the best. Hey, we've got an Alolan Grimer to go with our Alolan Muck. Very nice. We've got a ooh, very 3D Magnemite in the forest. Is because you know that's where Magnemites hang out. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Okay, we've got a Reverse Hollow Magneton. Very cool. Okay, uh, slightly less 3D actually than it's pre. Yeah, actually, no, it's probably done in the same style. Also in the forest, but kind of near cities or. Something I can't quite tell what's in the background. And oh shit son Um okay <laughs> Okay then Yo Venusaur and Snivy GX God damn right I'm just gonna check something. This is indeed a secret rare as well, two four nine or a two three six. God damn Alright then. I, I was just hoping to get like E G X maybe or you know a hollow would have settled but God damn! All right then. <laughs> wow, shining vine. That is, that is fantastic. That is God. That is such a nice looking card, and it's like textured and stuff as well. Well, I mean, it's not like my favourite tag team, uh, you know, thing. I, I would have preferred the Reshazard or ever or the Pika Rom. I don't think that's in this set actually. But damn, that is cool. Right. Anyway, I'll stop. Stop drooling over it now. Right, I'm going to place this back in this pack really quickly, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I put it safely back in this pack because, uh, damn, what what a pull from like a random pack, which I'm pretty sure is the one I bought from my local card game store. And our final one is a Lunala and Sol Solgaleo uh, Cosmic Eclipse pack. Can we? T I mean, we can't. We can't top it. There's no, regardless of what we pull from this pack now, even if this is some kind of rainbow secret rare as well, we that we'll have just evened out. Um, I'd love to end on a hollow. A hollow would be very cool, but um, eh, you know, I don't, I don't expect anything. Uh, so let's put four. Wait, no, three, four to the front. Uh, let's go with psychic. No fairy. Okay. Um, right. Uh, we begin with clay, as in the gym leader, and not the um, the sediment. We have oh ho ho! I did not know royalty was in this set. We have some cricketune. Ah oh, man, I I love me some cricketune. He's so ridiculously weird. We've got a curlier. Hey, oh wow, slugman, a very like old school kind of design. Um, I don't know, it's very like reminiscent of kind of like base set Gen 3 kind of stuff. Like, hey, here's a random fire thing in the background because you know he's fire. We've got a Chin Chow again. We've got a Cos... Oh, is that a different Cosmog? That feels like a different Cosmog to the last one we pulled. Unless, was that from the different set? I can't remember. We've got a Pan Cham. Pretty, pretty plain art for Pan Cham there. Ha <laughs> ha! we got a really happy looking drill bird. Happy to see some plants. I guess he's hungry. Um, hello. What is what? Hang on. You've got to be shitting me. 
this is another secret rare. 243 or a 236. I... What... What is... I bought both of these from... I don't... What? Well, no. That doesn't make any sense. I... They're both in the same booster box, I presume, from the place, unless, like, they all threw... Wow, okay, her eyes are, like, hollow. That's so fucking weird. I... I've just pulled two secret rares from essentially the same booster box from the shop. Because these are definitely the two I bought from the local game store. That... And, and I know they, they've got weird seedings, haven't they? They're like, sometimes you get secret rare Pokemon uh, thing in the reverse hollow slot. Because next up's going to be a rare problem. Actually, let's let's have a look. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare Embo. That's cool. The, the very nice. Thank you, Embo. Uh, very cool. Yeah, okay, so that's the rare. That is... Okay, so I, I've pulled... That's definitely a secret rare. I've pulled two secret rares... Back to back. Holy crap. What? Jesus Christ. That, what a, what a way to end the year, uh, to the decade and the year, obviously, because that's also ending. That's how decades work. Um, damn. Also, Mimikyu is one of my favourite Pokemon from last gen. So this is, I can't remember her name. I genuinely can't know, but I, I love me some cards that feature like gym leaders and stuff. On them, that god damn, that's cool. That is well, all right, then. That what what an ending to pork openings for this decade. Um, thank you very much for watching. This has been wow, this has been one hell of an ending. Um, as, as always, I'll keep making videos in the future, uh, so keep, keep an eye out for that. I'll leave like a playlist for pork openings and stuff. Um, yeah, and everyone have a happy new year and stuff, and I'll see you guys in 2020 for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Holy fuck.